Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi there. In this video, I want to show you how to use estimates within QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks Online does not have a sales order feature, so this is the closest thing you have to a sales order, at least that I have found. So let's make an estimate. In the upper left hand corner, I click on plus new. Under the customer's header, I go down to estimate. I then have the ability to make an estimate. So let's pick a customer, we'll do Angela. Estimate date can be November 1st. The product and service, we'll just say hours. Um, estimate for a cool thing. We'll say three hours at $60 an hour. I can save and send if I were to send this estimate to someone via email. It's just gonna go to me. I don't need any more emails. So I'm gonna change the drop down from save and send to save and close. Let's imagine that it's later. Our customer has reviewed the estimate and they've accepted and we need to make an invoice for it. Let's go over here to sales and then to customers. I realize I can see Angela here, but if I couldn't, I would search for her because it's faster than scrolling, or at least faster for me. So I find Angela, I find my estimate. Uh, I have a couple of them because I clearly use this example a lot. I'm gonna pick the one where it says create invoice and the status is pending. So I'm gonna click on create invoice. It moves all the data from my estimate into an invoice. This is nice because if I had spent more time creating an estimate and carefully inputting data, I wouldn't want to retype it to make my invoice. So I've got hours, estimate for cool thing, and then I might just say, you know, take out the estimate for and just leave it as cool thing. If there was anything extra that we discussed that she wanted to add on to this, I would just add them down here. And so I could say hours, um, another thing, one, $60, whatever and then I can do save and close. So it's, uh, it is a thing that might be helpful for you. Let me take you back to my estimate. I'm just gonna click on the line for estimate. I can see that my estimate over here is closed. In the upper right hand corner, it says it's linked to an invoice. I can click on that. I can click on the invoice. It takes me to my invoice. I don't know how often this will come up for you. It, it may not ever come up at all. But if you were ever curious about using estimates, this is a very brief explanation of how they work, how to go from an estimate to an invoice, and then how to see what information was linked. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or if there's anything my team and I can help you with, you can find us at gentlefrog.com. Thank you so much.